Welcome to The Child's View. I'm Sharon Brown. I'm here with my colleagues Bernadette Towns and Becky Roth. And today's topic is creativity and what we do to stifle creativity mm. after preschool. Mm. That's when it really starts to go yes. down. Yep. When, I, when I first started um, taking early education courses, there was the five domains. Right. Yes. You know, there was physical and, and cognitive and social, emotional, and creative. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got away from the creative right. and focusing in mm -hmm. on, you know, the, the cognitive, that mm -hmm. language development, the right. mathematical thinking, the scientific right. thinking, the STEM stuff. Yes. Right. And we take out creative. Creative. Yeah. And so I wanted just to address and talk about what we do. Um, to children when we take that away. First of all, a creative person isn't afraid of making mistakes. We couldn't be here today <laughs> on a video if somebody had been afraid to make mistakes because the videos would have never, oh, never yeah. been, would have, um, kept. would have happened. Yeah. Your cell phones, all of those yeah. things took creativity. True. Um, and so, we want to make sure that we are are really thinking about that yes. for children. So, I um, was watching a <clears throat> a conference, and I was listening to a speaker. His name is Sir Ken Robinson, and he's talking about creativity and what we've done. and And I want to quote a story, so I'm going to read it because it it's just it's just so um, funny. So he, he tells a story about a little girl, and I'm going to read it so that I'm quoting it appropriately. He said, I heard a great story recently, I love telling it, of a little girl who was drawing a lesson. She was six, and she was at the back drawing, and the teacher said the girl hardly ever paid attention. Now, how many times have we seen that? Mm -hmm. And in this drawing lesson, she did, um, the teacher was, fascinated. She went over to her and she said, um, what are you drawing? And the little girl said, I'm drawing a picture of God. Hmm. And the teacher said, but nobody knows what God's look, God looks like. And the little girl said, they will in a minute. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, and <laughs> how creative, how creative is that? And so as I'm reading more about creativity, we really stop it at the preschool. Once yeah. we get into formal school, right. we focus more on the cognitive thinking. What are you going right. to be when you grow up? Uh, if, you're, if you're doing something creative, that's not going to be right. something you're going to be able to do when you when you grow up. So is you it know? true. No money in right? that. I mean, no money in that. No <laughs> money in that. <laughs> yeah. And you think, where are the artists going to come from? Right. You know, right. where are the, I mean, really, engineering? I mean, it's a lot of mathematical, but right. you have got to get creative. Yes. Right? Yes. Tesla? Or yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm exactly. just saying. Exactly, but we stifle some of the creativity that yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. He he talks uh, he talks more in this um, at this conference about um, a little girl who who just couldn't sit still, couldn't mm -hmm. stand still, um, couldn't sit and focus on her stuff, and mm -hmm. and this is way back, um, and. So everybody told her mom there's something wrong with her, and so mm -hmm. she was going to take her um, to see a doctor. Um, because Quick you know fix. something, you know right. something's right. wrong. She can't mm -hmm. sit still. She can't focus. Mm -hmm. And so she takes her to see this doctor, and this doctor spends time with her in a in a room, and then tells her that he needs to speak with mom by himself. Mm -hmm. So can she just stay there? And they would only be a moment. So he turned some music on, and then they stepped out and they watched her through the window. And he said, "Watch your watch your daughter." And her daughter was dancing. Oh. And the and the doctor said, "There's nothing wrong with your child. She's a dancer. Put her in dance school." Ooh! And she became this this big oh. ballerina um, for the Royal Ballet in oh. England, and she has done a number of choreographical things huh. um, for big uh, productions like Cats Honey. and stuff. So, oh. oftentimes we don't we don't look right. at the creativity of right. somebody. Right. And I so, bet you would find those stories. For some of the probably the biggest inventors and artists mm. and dancers and right. in the world, you would hear those stories. Right, right, and and we really focus on 
on that math and, and, and that type of mm -hmm. critical thinking. Right. But if we look at it, creativity is critical thinking. Right? Yes. Right. But a person who's real creative is out there and is not afraid, again, to make that mistake. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, if, if, if we don't allow mistakes, children have to be right on those math papers and they have to be right on their, on their writing and they have to be right on their reading. Right. And if they make a mistake, then oh, you're wrong. Right. If we allow them to make the mistakes, creativity comes into play. Well, and you think about growth mindset, right? Mm -hmm. So if you think there's only one way to do this and I can't fix it, you're stuck. You're right. in this fixed mindset and you can't, you know, reach your potential. You right. can't change what you didn't do correctly. You are afraid to make mistakes. Right. But if you can think creatively, if you can think outside the box, if you can say, okay, that didn't work, now what can I do? Right. Right. It's not thinking here, it's thinking what else can exactly. I do? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the creativity. And we focus on, okay, so it's changed from STEM to STEAM, mm -hmm. from the arts, but the arts generally... Um, music and um, the graphic drawing and yeah drawing drawing and music mm -hmm. are first mm -hmm. the other arts dance mm -hmm. um, and and the acting Visual arts, arts theater mm -hmm. arts mm -hmm. are last yeah. and those are so creative so what can we do to but you know, before we um, talk about that, you just made me think about something. When we were in China, it's really an interesting dichotomy because we have these kids that are stuck in chairs and sitting and not being creative mm -hmm. from pre from as early as three years old. Right. But they are also taking piano lessons, dance lessons, right. art. I mean, so right. it's interesting because mm -hmm. where we're giving them the, the the opportunity to be creative when mm -hmm. they're little, but then we do stifle them mm -hmm. as they get older. Right. It, it's almost like even though they're not getting the opportunity in school, right. they still have right. that outlet for creativity. And that's why right. sometimes we're seeing some really great things come out of these countries. Because you think, right. how, how is it right. coming out? Because right. they're not, but because but they are, they are right. having they're those exposed. other, yeah. it's just in a different Right. in a different way. Well, when I was when I was in school, you know, back, you know, when we chiseled words on rocks, so long ago, um, music was part of our school, our daily right, routine right, school, right, instrumental yeah, and yeah. vocal. Oh, yeah. Um, we had dance. Oh yeah. You know, so many of those things have 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 been squelched down just a little right. bit because yes. other things are more right. important. Right. So oh, we don't um, have the budget for it. Right. One of the things that we yeah we don't have <laughs> no budget. Well, I went to when I went to Germany. I was going to say I went to Germany and I visited their preschool and then it was right next door to their elementary school and their high school. The art teachers were both American. Oh wow. The husband and wife team. She was the teacher of the elementary school for their art classes and he was the teacher for high school because they could find no jobs. Mm. In the U.S. Wow! Wow! And I thought, wow! And you should have seen the art studio. I was like, <gasps> amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We, Sharon, it's interesting too because when I was growing up, I thought I wasn't creative, and I think sometimes we make mm -hmm. children feel like they're not creative because right. the creativity outlets are so limited. Right. right. And so, like, right. I couldn't draw, so I'm not creative. Right. right. But I didn't find out till I was an adult that actually I am creative. <laughs> yeah. There's many, many, many ways, ways of being right? creative. Yes. I want you to just put this little thought in your mind. Okay, we're, we're educators um, and we are teaching people to educate young children. Do we know in, in, in 2085 when these children are retiring, are we preparing them for that? We're not. No. Mm -mm. We, we can't. We don't know what tomorrow is going to look like. Mm -hmm. And so taking the creativity out of it, we are closing that we are closing right. that door in 2085 for the creative thinking process. Mm -hmm. Right. So well, yeah. again, where are the scientists coming from? Where are the artists coming from? Right. You know, where are the dancers coming from? Right. You have to support it. You right. have yes. to, so you what, know, provide this not only this platform but allow yeah. for the passion and the mm -hmm. some and of the things not, that we can enough. do is to cause scenarios that make children question things mm -hmm. make them question it um, make them explore make them be curious um, provide opportunities for them to express 
their intelligence. Yeah. Another way of doing something. Just because you think it has to be done this way, another way of doing something. Um, you need to teach them multiple ways to solve problems mm -hmm. so that they can look at that. Um, give them things that trigger curiosity. Um, <clears throat> thinking out of the box. Thinking out of the box is doing things like playing games with them, mm -hmm. board games with them, mm -hmm. as opposed to on the electronics. Again, that yes. electronics. Yep. Getting away from that is such a good idea. <clears throat> and <laughs> that's like open-ended questions <laughs> rather than closed. Right. Or <clears throat> activity. Same right. thing, right? You don't want one necessarily with one answer. Right. You want to find some that provide, mm -hmm. you know, opportunities for multiple answers. And having them paths. read for pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you're cooking with them, give them options. It doesn't only have to be a pizza done this way. You could have right. the, the uh, John's Incredible Peanut Butter Pizza and let right. them throw some peanut butter on there or, you know, but give them different toppings and let them be creative with what, what they're putting together. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. So give them time, give them space. Yeah. That's what it needs. And we are in such a rush. Right. Mm -hmm. Give them time. Yeah, yep. that's okay. really good. Nice <clears throat> job. Anything yeah. else you guys want to add? I think you covered it. I all. think good you job. did, but I think it's maybe something we come back to too. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh. Hey, thank you for joining us on the Child's View. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. See you next time. <laughs>